North Carolina and Pitt. 42 to 24. North Carolina gets this dub. 75 plays to 60. Uh, Pitt had one turnover, and it was in the fourth quarter, and it was it cost them dearly. Um, North Carolina outgained them by over 100 yards. Uh, they had 11 more first downs. This was about what people expected. Now, for the majority of this game, it was not what people expected, right? This was not at all what people were looking at. But uh, let's pull up the stats here, and you will see right up there, the fourth quarter, this game was 24 to 14 pit deep in the third quarter. And North Carolina came out and scored four straight touchdowns. You look at the drive chart right there. They are down 24 to 14 right there. They get the ball back, 12 plays, 75 yards, touchdown. Um, the other team, fum- Pitt, fumbles. They get the ball back, 10 plays, 84 yards, touchdown. Get the ball back, three plays, 49 yards, touchdown. Three plays, 35 yards, touchdown. And ball game. Like, Pitt was in this and was actually kind of dominating early, and it just went the wrong way very quickly. Drake May, 34 out of 44 passing, 388 yards, five touchdowns, and he ran the ball 14 times for 61 yards. He is an absolute superstar. Zone 6 jumped in. Drake May is the best quarterback in the nation, in my opinion. I don't know that I go that far, but I will tell you this. he There ain't a whole lot that are better than him. I, I think he could win on any team. Uh, I don't think that North Carolina would be near, near what they are without him playing for him. If you swap that, if you put in Criswell for him, which is crazy because am I, am I losing my mind or did we have a quarterback competition between these two? Like in the fall. They were talking about who was actually going to start. And Drake May has completely taken this thing over. Props to North Carolina. They get a massive lead in the ACC Coastal in this spot. They are undefeated. Everybody else has at least two losses, if not more. And they've already played everybody else that would be considered a contender in that spot. They already beat Miami. They already beat Pitt. Like, there's nobody else left that is really going to win any kind of tiebreaker over them. So it looks like they will be playing Clemson in the ACC title game. Now, November starts on Tuesday, so we probably need to pump the brakes just a bit on this team, but the defense appears to be getting a little bit better. Maybe that's due to competition. I'm not sure, but who knows? Uh, 82 Atlantic, Kenny Pickett and Jordan Addison made Narduzzi look like a better coach than he actually is. Yeah, no, no, no. I I, I tend to agree with that. Um, I think Narduzzi, like Nardog's thing was always defense, right? And that offense last year got away from the defense, so he's trying to build that defense back up. I don't know what they're going to be able to do, though. Uh, double O'Neill, all great players make coaches look better. It goes with that saying. Yeah, no, it's absolutely true. Absolutely true. Uh, Narduzzi has always been a defensive guy, though. So I don't know that people really associated Kenny Pickett with Pat Narduzzi. That was much more like a Mark Whipple thing, in my opinion. But regardless, North Carolina doing it up, doing the most. Props to Mac Brown doing his thing. That was that was awesome. It was a lot of fun. Thanks for listening to Winning Cures Everything. Make sure and subscribe on YouTube or your favorite podcast app. And make sure to leave a nice five-star review. You can follow Gary on Twitter, at GaryWCE. And the show is at Winning Cures. Be sure to check out the merch in our web store and share the show.